Hey guys, it's Chris from Show Me Mo Fish. Today I'm going to show you my custom motorized live scope pole. As many of you know, there are plenty of options on the market, but I wasn't happy with what is available for the cost. So I kind of came up with this on my own. As you guys know, I have a tracker boat which has the VersaTrack rail system. This is the remote that operates it. So basically, I'm into this whole setup for right around $250. i would have to add up all the receipts, but I am more than happy with it compared to the options with it. All right, I have it mounted to the versed track. All I did was take the factory bolts that come out of the stern mount. And as you can see, I can totally remove this out of my boat in less than one minute when i get to the water i put it in the track i can put it anywhere i want simply tighten them up as you can see under here i put a rubber stop for the gap in between there and when this thing's cranked down this thing is very sturdy even with the outboard i don't think you'd have a problem at all we have two different options for driving from spot to spot simply loosen this collar up you can pull your whole setup out of the water, tighten it, hit the road. Second option, I put this clevis in here, simply pull this out, set that to the side. You gotta loosen the clamp and let the pull down a little. Pull this up. Flip back, bring it in the boat. There's option two. And then so the motor isn't sliding around, then simply pull your collar back down, push the rod up, tighten it, and nothing's gonna go anywhere driving around. I don't know if I mentioned it, but all that is, is a trolling motor, steering motor, and it's simply two wires coming out. I put this type of plug on it, and I'll show you what I did for the boat. Inside my boat up front, I had a useless cigarette lighter right there. I removed that, I already had 12 volt power there. This doesn't draw that much, I think it's on the starting battery. It's never been a problem. It shouldn't be a problem for anybody. But I put this adapter in to let that plug go in. And then I wired in a switch in case I accidentally leave it on, on off right there, marine grade. And behind this panel, I have the controller for the remote. I just have it 3M taped to the back of there. That controller, that remote works anywhere in the boat. Hopefully this will help you guys out, save a ton of money. Uh, the indicator I just painted neon so somebody in the back of the boat could see where I'm pointed to. I did notice I got the zero degree mount. I think I need a mount that hooks straight on the pole. It's a little off. I've figured out where the cone is pointed without putting another 90 on this. These PVC pipes that slip on here, there's no glue. I can pull that off. It's super tight. It's in the hot water heater section. I guess it's a different size to go on the pipe. You won't find it in the normal plumbing. You got to go to the hot water plumbing. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Or you can check out my YouTube channel at Show Me Mo Fish. I'm going to have more stuff on there and I'll probably have a link to all the stuff that I bought, whether it was on Amazon or I'm trying to remember the Marine store that I got the steering motor and the shaft from and stuff like that. But I'll put a link on my page.